what no city to dwell in, hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. Verse 6 says, Then they cried out to the Lord in their struggle, and he delivered them out of their distress. Brothers and sisters, this morning, go before the Lord and cry out to the Lord. The problem with us is that we tire too quickly. We tire too quickly to cry out to the Lord. Remember the women, the woman who was seeking justice from the church. She kept on going with her cancer. She kept on going with her cancer. She kept on knocking on the judge's door. She kept on knocking. She kept on going before the judge. To some point, she became a listener. And the judge had nothing to do but to grant her a request. This morning, brothers and sisters, go before the Lord in that matter. Cry to your Father in the name of Jesus. Cry to the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> 
come with a heart of worship. We come with a heart of worship because you are God. You are the only one we know. You are the only one we will praise. You are the only one we will worship because you have been good to us. You have been good to us. You have been good to us. You will never change and you will be good to us. So we lift up your name.
And he cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou son of the most high God? I have shown thee by God that thou tormented me not. You go. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Now there was there nigh unto mountains a great part of swine feeding. And, and forthwith Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirit went out and entered into the swine, and the heart ran violently down a steep place into the sea. There were about 2,000 and was shocked in the sea. You go. And they, they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. You go. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coast. And then. How be Jesus suffered him not, but said unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord hath done to thee and hath had compassion on thee. You go. And all men did marvel. Everlasting Father, we give you glory. You are a powerful God, you are a mighty God. You are a wonderful God. You are a healing God. You are a restoring God. This morning we bless you because you will heal, you will